I gotta say, color me impressed. Color me impressed. I gotta hand it to you, Ryan Reynolds. I gotta hand it to you, Kevin Feige. Deadpool 3. Or should I say Deadpool and Wolverine? Finally, eat my words. Was pretty damn good. <laughs> I'm actually very surprised that I actually enjoyed the movie. Because here's the thing. Here's the thing. And don't worry, there won't be no spoilers. But here's the thing about the movie, you know? Going in, I was so against this movie. I was like, I'm tired of multiverse shit. That's one. Two, I don't care to see my boy Hugh Jackman come back as Wolverine. I thought Logan was this beautiful send-off to his character and it was so meaningful and you know he had a definitive ending no not many um you know actors get to say they have a great conclusion to their character and that is profound and meaningful and get to walk away happy with what they done for almost almost 20 years with the character and Hugh Jackman comes back for this movie. And I'm just like, no, Hugh Jackman, bro, no, you sold out. This is lame, bro, come on. And then we're doing multiverse stuff. And we all know it's just a cash grab. Oh, my goodness. So I had no faith in this movie. And then I watched it. The cynical part of my mind. Was like, I should fucking hate this movie. I should be fucking loathing this movie. But as I watch this movie, and again, there are no spoilers, but there is a scene near the very end, or at the credits, in the credits, where the movie takes a minute to do a little tribute to the Fox X Men universe. Uh, and all the Fox film. And I'm talking about all. Even the shitty ones. Like fan four stick. And just give them a moment. Of. Just respect. Seeing a young Hugh Jackman. A young Ryan Reynolds. Talk about the character. Seeing the cast of the X-Men. Just all having a blast. And talking with one another. Behind the scenes. And I just. It really made me rethink the whole movie. And it made me say, damn. And it made me realize something. That this movie is a celebration of Fox Universe of Marvel. It felt like Kevin Feige, because I just found this out, or I kind of knew about it, but, it, but this movie reminded me that Kevin Feige produced a lot of those, or helped produce a lot of those uh, Fox films, in particular the X-Men. So for me this felt like a conclusion a uh, 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 swan song to the uh, Fox era of movies. And you know, whether you like those movies or not, or you care about them or, or whatnot, you can't deny they started the MCU. They, they really put Marvel Comics on the map. I talked about it in my uh, Marvel vs. Capcom is so special. The collection is so special. I talked about the idea that, you know, when Fox bought the X-Men, uh, or at least the film rights, you know, that's when X-Men became even more huge. And, you know, it was those movies along with uh, Sam Raimi's Spider-Man that really pushed like comic book movies in the early 2000s to hype regardless of quality and it just felt like Kevin Feige you know had a daunting task and he was like you know I have now the full play set of the X-Men and Fantastic Four I can do whatever the fuck I want but I want to make this movie to have a, a moment to celebrate these this franchise i mean this movie has tons of references and callbacks to the fox era 
And yeah, some of it is played for laughs, but for the most part, especially when it comes on the cameos, again, not gonna spoil, but some of the cameos are downright like, holy fuck. Like, how did you get this motherfucker? <laughs> how did you get this motherfucker? Uh, and it's so cool. And it's all just to pay respects to the Fox era. And, you know, as I was watching this movie and as I thought about it more, I was like, man, this movie is everything The Flash should have been. You know, The Flash, you know, felt like, you know, we were just like, hey, we're going to reset the universe and whatnot. And, you know, it just felt like they just threw fan service just to say, hey, dangle the keys at the fans and whatnot. Instead of giving definitive endings for, you know, Snyder's run on the character. This movie, Deadpool 3, does the complete opposite. They were like, no, we're going to honor all the Fox characters in some meaningful way or form. Some of the fan service in here, I gotta, I gotta say, some of them are literally everything fucking the Flash movie did, but did it 10 times better. Did it 10 times better. There is even one cameo off of a movie that was canceled that, that if you're a Fox fan, you kind of know what I'm talking about. And it, it's finally realized in this movie, and this particular cameo character gets a moment to shine. And it made me say, God damn it, those, all those times we had an argument, I had an argument with one of my friends that this particular character and this particular actor could not play this character. I'm like, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm eating my words, all right? I was like, this fucking dude is killing it right now. I'm like, shit, shit. <laughs> He's fucking killing it. And I just felt like the whole movie was that. Just nothing but a flavor of love. Even to Wolverine. Like, like in this movie, and this is going to be a slight little spoiler, not too much. It's not too much. Uh, they consider Wolverine like the, the, the um, sacred character. Like he's the pinnacle of the Fox X-Men characters. Which makes total sense. He's the only Fox X-Men um uh, actor who is constantly coming back for all the Fox stuff and so when Deadpool's given the option to like hey leave everything behind and join the MCU uh because we're gonna wipe out your fucking universe because let's face it we don't give a fuck it was it was like it was like everybody um the big heads over at, at Disney was like we don't give a fuck about any of these fucking characters except you Deadpool because you're gonna make money and maybe we can get Wolverine, Hugh Jackman, Wolverine, but he said he retired, so eh. But you're the only character. He fucking Deadpool's like, no, uh, I'm gonna try and save my universe. And this is where the whole story is about. Basically, gotta take a wacky multiverse trip to kind of save the Fox universe. And it was so fascinating. And there was many moments in this movie for Wolverine in particular. That there is just badass moments after badass moments. Again, I said it earlier. They have a story reasons why he's wearing the the, the the costume, and I actually thought it was really cool. But many times the movie constantly, and I repeat, constantly remind you the importance of Logan, that Logan movie. And to me, again, as someone who loves Logan, Logan was. And is my favorite comic book movie, one of my favorite comic book movies of all time. Um, and it came at in my life at a very dark moment. And watching that movie is so special. And I was so cynical of this movie that they're gonna touch it and they're gonna destroy that legacy. And then this movie says, No, we're not gonna destroy that legacy at all, Mr. Degenerate. No, we're gonna honor it for you. And they honor it beautifully. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Like, like I'm just sitting in the theater. I'm just like, everyone's laughing at certain jokes and shit. And again, some of the jokes ain't cracking. But I'm just sitting there like, man. Like, they really honored Logan. And, and so many other Fox franchises. I'm like, but in particular, Logan. There are a few scenes, in particular, one scene with a particular cameo character and I was just like 
Oh, you gotta be. Oh, this is beautiful. This shit was like, it was rip, ripped straight out of Logan. You know? And I, again, I can understand if James Mangold, the director of Logan, or any other Logan fan like me um, that really loves that movie, it's like, fuck this. This is, this is shit. But I, I promise you, if you just take your feelings out of it for once and just listen to what the movie's saying about Logan, about Hugh Jackman, and and his contribution to the MCU, to not only just comic book movies in general, but also to the MCU. Like, man, like, it, it, it felt like... It felt like the movie was just speaking to me and, and just understood. They understood the assignment. This movie is a blast, man. I, I couldn't... I can't praise it anymore. Like, and it's all thanks to, you know, Ryan Reynolds just taking a shot and saying, hey, believing in Deadpool. I don't know what he found so fascinating about Deadpool, but it's almost like this was like the complete opposite of, you know, The Rock, where The Rock just wanted to play Black Adam just to say I'm playing Black Adam. And I never understood why he liked Black Adam, but with Ryan Reynolds, you can generally tell whether you disagree with his take of Deadpool or not, because I understand like he has a very different take than even the comic book version of Deadpool. You can tell like he fought tooth and nail for Deadpool. He loves the character. And in this movie, he gets to honor all the Fox characters. In one in, in one swoop, he gets to honor all of them, and it's so weird because the move, the 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 fucking Deadpool movies was never supposed to be made. They were never supposed to be the the, the fucking flagship franchise. But because because of Ryan Reynolds' persistence, he's the one that gets to close out the Fox universe. That's that's fucking beautiful. That's beautiful, in my humble opinion. And again, the movie's not perfect. I'm going to keep saying that again. The movie's not perfect. I think cameos can be a little too much. And again, I still think um, in a No Way Home does it the best because they actually like tie into Peter's character arc in that, in that um, movie. But man, again, some of the cameos are just really well done. And you know... I, I, I don't think the movie has that same heart that the previous movies. I think that's what's missing a lot with this movie and why, I, why I'm why i not saying this is the best MCU film. Because, you know, the last two uh, Deadpool movies, you know, had a lot of heart. Under, underneath all that laughter and shit and the, the comedy, you know, it had a lot of heart. With the first Deadpool movie, it literally was... A, a, a love story and you feel it and you and you root for fucking Deadpool to be with F Vanessa you know and Deadpool 2 you know uh spoilers for that <laughs> spoilers for those movies by the way my apologies but you know he root um you root for Deadpool even though you know all the bullshit you know with Deadpool's fucking dying in Deadpool uh 2 as much as it's funny that he's laughing and he's telling jokes he finally gets his wish just to be with Vanessa and you feel for him at that moment. And and again, the whole movie, those two movies has a lot of heart. This one, I wasn't feeling that. I wasn't really feeling that heart, but I was appreciating the level of respect that this movie was doing. The level of respect and honest that this movie was doing. Again, it may not be sincere. It may it may be just Kevin Feige and the rest of the Marvel Studios like, oh, we got to get this movie out so people can shut the fuck up about the Fox, Fox X-Men films and whatnot and so we can move on. But I think that's a cynical way of looking at it. And honestly, I, I, know, I did not see that throughout the whole film. I, I felt like it was made by love and just a moment for everyone to get a moment of resolution and it was so beautiful and i didn't think i needed a resolution of seeing some of those cameos 
And I didn't think I needed to see Hugh Jackman come back. I'll, I'll definitely say that. But man, there's one scene, and I'm not going to spoil it, but man, there's the scene where he says, you know, killing mostly. That scene? Oh, oh Lord. The, the 20 plus years of waiting for that scene was fucking worth it. <laughs> fucking worth it. It was worth it throughout. Overall... And I'm just going to wrap up this video. And I've talked too much. But I'm just going to wrap it up. Deadpool 3 is a fun movie. It may not be the best um, MCU movie. It may not be perfect. I have tons of problems with it. And if you sit there and say you did not like this movie. You think this movie is a piece of shit. I would completely understand why you feel that way. But for me... As someone who wasn't looking forward to this movie, I was blown away not by all the crazy action scenes or the cameos or just shit ton of jokes. I was more blown away by how beautiful and special this movie was for allowing the Fox universe its time of due. And just to say goodbye to these lovable characters. Whether you hate them or a lot. Whether you think certain movies are good or not. This movie does such a fantastic job of honoring and saying goodbye to the Fox run of Marvel. And for me, it made, it made... All the moments of having Hugh Jackman back as Wolverine and all the moments with Deadpool kind of worth it. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, please comment, rate, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Let me know what did you think of Deadpool 3 or aka Deadpool and Wolverine. Be sure to leave your comments down below. And as always, more videos are coming soon. It's your boy Mr. Degenerate signing out. Have a good one.